Hey everyone, how's it going today? Um, today I want to chat with you about Metropolis, something that's been getting a lot of buzz lately around the Ethereum community. So are we all just big Superman fans and Metropolis is, is his city? Um, not quite, even though I do like Superman. Rather, Metropolis is a really important event that's happening in Ethereum's near future. So listen up and keep watching this video if you want to find out what Metropolis is, how it affects you, and why you should care. Let's get started. So what is it? Well, Metropolis is a planned upgrade to the Ethereum protocol. So Ethereum and Bitcoin and a lot of these other coins are just a protocol. There are a set of rules that tell you like how you can send coins to each other, how you can set up smart contracts, etc. So on the Ethereum roadmap, um, it has four separate releases. Frontier, Homestead, which is what we're on currently, Metropolis, which is what's going to happen real soon, and Serenity, which is TBA, to be announced. Um, this whole roadmap is led by the Ethereum Foundation team. Um, and someone famous in that team you, that you may have heard of is Vitalik Buterin. They have a team full of des developers, testers, etc., that's sole purpose is to make sure that these, um, um, that Ethereum gets developed and improved. And so this includes a bunch of different EIPs, which is Ethereum Improvement Proposals. So the broader community, if they see things that um, they think um, Ethereum can be improved on, they package it into an improvement proposal and upload it on the internet for debate and discussion. So this release combines several of them that the community that the community agreed upon to put into place um, and make it go live in the Ethereum network. And a hard fork is required for this. So basically we're gonna create two separate chains. One of them, which is the Metropolis chain, which is the one that everyone's gonna support. And the other one, which is the old one, pretty much dead on arrival. Okay, so why bother, you may wonder. So actually, you may not know this, but Ethereum is a really young technology. Vitalik only introduced it to the world in 2015, so it's really only two years old. Um, even one of Ethereum's lead developers, Vlad, straight up said that it's not ready for mainstream adoption yet. There's a lot of work to be done, and um, even though we use it a lot, it's still not quite ready. For example, Companies want more flexibility, scalability, security, and privacy. Everyday users, like our aunts and uncles and friends, want an easier interface and process to get involved in this whole ecosystem. Okay, so some no noteworthy parts of this Metropolis release, okay? One, smart contracts is going to be improved a lot. It's robustness and flexibility. Two, account abstraction. This is a little bit technical, but basically it gives you greater control over your private key and your wallets and also potentially lets um, the people that you're paying kind of um, pay for your transaction fees so you don't have to pay yourself. Also, a really big one is transaction privacy, ZK Snarks. This is what the other coin called Zcash uses. Basically, they use something called zero knowledge proofs in order to shield um, your involvement in a transaction and the amounts that's being transferred. This is a big deal in terms of allowing privacy, privacy and private transactions in the future of Ethereum. Finally, they're including a mining reward reduction. from So like if you're a miner and you successfully find a block, um, you can get, you used to get five ETH, now you get three. This is kind of part of the process in order to move us slowly from proof of work, which is traditional mining, to proof of stake, which is the future, which doesn't require traditional miners. Okay, so there's a rollout plan because Metropolis is a big release. It's going to be done in two stages um, called Byzantium and Constantinople. Byzantium will be launched on a test network in late September, so any day now. And they're going to test that for a while, um, this, a dedicated team of testers, and the main net fork. So it's going to happen on the main network for all of us after testing is done sometime in October. Um, the Constantinople hard fork timeline is yet to be announced. So stay tuned to the Ethereum Foundation 
and they will let us know. How does this affect you? Well, if you've been wondering if there's going to be like an Ethereum cash, kind of like Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash, the answer is probably not because this hard fork was planned way in advance and most people um, agree, agree upon it. So there's been no one that says that they're going to support this legacy chain of Ethereum. Um, so you may have to update your wallets, but that should be pretty easy to handle. You might not have to pay transaction fees in the future, depending on like which company you're sending um, Ethereum to, so on and so forth. It might, might be less profitable to mine depending on the price of Ethereum. You have to do the math yourself if you're a miner. And Ethereum's price may move heavily. More on this in the next slide. Okay, so this is the market impact I want to talk a little bit about because we all care about the price of our precious ethers. Um, so this little green circle is when um, Homestead happened, right? This is the second release that I showed you in a few previous slides. And look, the price went up greatly afterwards. So obviously no one can um, tell the future and I'm not trying to tell you to buy a bunch of Ethereum right now because I'm never trying to give official investment advice. Do your own research, make your own decisions, but it is likely that the price will move heavily, um, probably around right now or when, it, when Metropolis comes into play. Um, just because it's a, a big deal a lot of new features as long as everything goes smoothly the price and people wanting to come into this ecosystem will probably just go up um so thank you that's about it i hope you learned what metropolis is please leave me a comment below if you um have any questions give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you on the next one peace out